Have you watched Vikings? Are you excited for the new season? Well, if you answered yes to either of these two questions, you're gonna like what this video is all about. We have everything you need to know about the new Vikings season, and we're so excited to tell you. So grab a seat, let's get started. First, we take a look at the Vikings teaser. All right, it's been over a year since we said goodbye to Vikings. Vikings was a show that went through the life and story of Norse King Ragnar Lothbrok and his sons. Their journey has sadly come to an end, but there are still Till many more Viking stories to tell. Also, the crew is back together for a Netflix series. We're ready for it. Are you? The Vikings Valhalla takes place a few years after the first series. It's more towards the end of the Viking Age. The first teaser was just released, and it looks like we're about to have a crazy battle between the Vikings and the English. Netflix has released a synopsis, and we've got it here for you. It says, Set over a thousand years ago in the early 11th century, Vikings Valhalla chronicles the heroic adventures of some of the most famous Vikings who ever lived. The legendary explorer Leif Erikson, Sam Corlett, his fiery and headstrong sister Frida's Eric's daughter, Frida Gustafsson, and the ambitious Nordic prince Harald Sigurdsson, Leo Suter. As tensions between the Vikings and the English royals reach a bloody breaking point, and as the Vikings themselves clash over their conflicting Christian and pagan beliefs, these three Vikings begin an epic journey that'll take them across oceans and through battlefields. From Cat I got to England and beyond as they fight for a survival and glory. Yes, you're thinking of the right Leif Erikson, so don't be too shocked when that comes up in this series. Also, we're looking at a massive cast coming in for the show. That's right, we've got Bradley Freeguard Johansson, Hakar Johansson, Carolyn Henderson, Laura Berlin, David Oakes, Louis Davidson, Oscar Hogan, Asbjorn Konisen, Pollyanna McTonish, and Soren Pilmark, all in this show. So it's going to be absolutely amazing amazing and no one can change my mind. As for the writer, we have Jeb Stewart, who's also the showrunner and executive producer. You've definitely been busy, Stewart. Then for the list of all the remaining executive producers, we've got Morgan O'Sullivan, Michael Hurst, Sheila Hawken, Steve Stark, James Flynn, John Weber, Sherry Marsh, and Alan Gasmer, Paul Pussieri. But what do you think about this lineup? Are you impressed with all these names? Do you recognize these names? Because I can't lie, mm, I don't recognize all the names, but I know some of them. So. When's it going to air? So the first season's actually coming out on February 25th, 2022. It's going to be here so soon, and I can't wait. We're already at the end of January, so we've only got a month left. However, if you want to see Vikings, then most places you can watch it is on Netflix, but it won't be available on Netflix in the US and UK until 2024. We also know that this new Vikings is going to be at least three seasons and has a total of 24 episodes. What? It's amazing that they've already got permission for the these three seasons because that's pretty insane. Also, Hearst did have something to say about whether the new show is going to match Vikings. He said, it couldn't be on a greater scale than the final episodes of My Vikings because the armies and the big battles we had, you really can't get much bigger than that actually. But what I can say, it's being made in the same places, a lot of it. We went back to Kattegat, that of course is the spiritual home of the Vikings, but it's a change Kattegat, it's established. It's one of the biggest ports really, trading ports in Europe. Europe. It's grown in size and significance. The King of England has become a Viking. The Vikings have overrun most of England and they own Normandy. I mean, that all sounds very promising. This is really going to be big and everyone loved the battles in Vikings, so it's only fitting for it to be in this one as well, don't you think? Also, seeing a change Kattegat is going to be interesting because it's going to be different from what we're used to. What do you think about what Hearst has to say? Are you still excited for all the battles in all the armies? I mean, it's going to be jam-packed. Next, what's the plot. So we all know that this new series is set after the first Vikings, and the end of the Viking Age is coming even closer as the Kingdom of England stands tall against the Scandinavian raiders. However, after the death of King Edward the Confessor, you've got three lords stepping up to claim the English throne. Hearst had this to say about the connection between the two shows. What Jeb Stewart does actually is he plays attention to the mythology of the Vikings. So whenever they meet in the Great Hall in Kattegat, and of course they talk about the Great eras who used to sit in the same hall at the same table, and they were Ragnar Lothbrok, Lagertha, and Bjorn Ironside, and Ivar the Boneless, who are now mythic characters even within the show, even within Vikings, Valhalla. That's a really great connection in effect. It gives ready-made histories to the new show, so you don't need to know who Ragnar is to watch the new show, but it enriches the show, and it hopefully will make people go back and find out. Well, who are these people they keep talking about? Was Ragnar so great? Why are these people 
people mythic characters. So everything connects in a useful, interesting, and fascinating way. Well, Hearst, if I wasn't already excited, then I'm even more excited now. I like the historical connection as well because you can never know too much history in my opinions. The only way we can make sure people won't repeat history. Keep watching because we've got more updates on the new show and you're gonna wanna stick around to find out. Now we have the cast. So we briefly spoke about who's going to be in the cast, but why not go a bit more in depth because you might recognize a few of these faces. We've got Sam Corlett, who was also in the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. He's going to be playing Leif Erikson, a Greenlander raised on the outskirts of the known world. Where does he come from? Well, he's got some old pagan beliefs that he got from his tight-knit family. He's a sailor that's really tough and is our entry to the Viking world. Then we have Frida Gustafsson, who you would recognize from The Witcher. Frida is playing Frida's Eric's daughter, who's a strong pagan that is fierce and headstrong. She's a strong believer in the old gods. She's Leif's sister, and she also is going to reach Katagat as an outsider, but is going to become an inspiration. Next, we have Leo Suter, who you might know from The Liberator. He's going to be playing Harold Sigurdsson. This is a Viking noble who is one of the last Viking berserkers. He's charismatic and ambitious, and might I say handsome as well. He's definitely going to be a character to watch out for. Then we have Bradley Freegard, who was in Keeping Faith. He's going to be playing King Canute. He's the king of Denmark, who is a smart, ruthless, and savvy Viking leader. Tends to keep his friends close, but his enemies closer. All of his decisions end up molding the course of Viking history in the 11th century, so pay close attention to him. Also, Johannes Hakor Johansson, who was in Cursed, is also going to be in the show as Olaf Haraldsson. Olaf is Harold's older half-brother, who's actually physically massive and very ambitious. He's a Viking that isn't so forgiving with his Old Testament Christian ways. Lara Berlin is also going to be in the show, and you might recognize her from Breaking Even. She's going to be playing Emma of Normandy. Emma's a younger and ambitious and is from the Norman court. She's politically astute and one of the wealthiest women in the whole of Europe. We're guessing that she's probably a descendant from Rollo in the original Vikings. David Oakes from the Borgais is also in the show as Earl Godwin. Earl is the ultimate survivor. He's the chief counselor to the King of England. England, who was born on the political fringes. He also happens to be very cunning, which gets him very far. David happened to be the one cast member that was revealed a few months ago, so we're not very surprised to talk about him on this list. What do you think about this cast? Are you excited? Do you think they're going to work well together? Do you already know their history? Well, that's the end of this video, and we're going to have to sit and wait for this new series. How excited are you? What do you think about the connection between the two shows? Are you ready to see the cast? Let us know down below.